the altar. My name is Cassie Ridgeway. I'm the owner and designer at Altar in Portland. Initially, my former business partner and I, we came up with this name together. We were just kind of discussing what it means to sell objects with stories behind them, and where do these objects belong, and why are they imbued with something that's long lasting. So um, for us, it, we just kept coming back with this phrase, like, objects with meaning. And Altar is kind of an all-encompassing term that sort of captures a lot of the essence there. I opened this store at only 22 years old. I had no money. I just graduated college and, and I was walking a Pawthorn and I saw this building for lease and I just saw myself in the future in it. And I remember calling my dad and telling him that I think I'm gonna do something crazy, Dad, you know? He was like, you know, we're not a family that comes from a lot of means. And he's like, but not only do I trust your work ethic and your ability to persevere, when you have nothing, you have nothing to lose. So he's like, go for it. I definitely opened the store initially with more of an emphasis on other independent artists while I kind of incubated my own designs. The original store had so was bursting at the seams from floor to ceiling. When we rebranded as Alter, we did a lot of like kind of pruning down, trying to pick things that were complementary to my apparel line. At that point, I had become a lot more serious about making sure that that, that I was able to have that as our as our leading foot forward. I stepped into 2020. I knew that I was about to release like the best collection of my life. And then March is the COVID um, stay at home or shelter in place stuff starting to unfold. I was faced with the challenge of not being able to do my usual sourcing. I contacted one of my factory partners and I was like, so, you know, you're down there. How much, how much can I get you to help me with this? She's like, I'm really hearing a lot of positive information about this company, Swatch On. And I know that shopping for textiles online when you're so driven by the hand and the drape and the, all of that to, to design your collection. I know this is going to be difficult for you, but when you see their website, you'll be blown away. It was not five days later and I'm holding the swatches of all of the different fabrics, some of which at this point have now become, I would say, like staple elements. Now I have this new opportunity. I have some textiles that I know I can order and reorder, and that is changing my business. This is the first year that we have been able to open up a wholesale model. And that is predicated entirely on the fact that now I have a reorderable product. So my supply chain just totally grew. Another thing about our company that I'm super proud of is that all of our clothing um, goes from size small to 6XL, um, including all of the very tailored wovens and things of that nature. They're definitely not meant to be singularly trend-based. We very much favor these aesthetics that are just meant to really serve someone's wardrobe for years and years and years. I don't have grandiose desires to see my clothing on like extravagant, famous people. So much of like what we're trying to sew into our garments, literally and figuratively, is, is that they are meaningful. That's definitely part of our story is that we are coming up against fast fashion. We're maybe tiny, but we're, we're mighty, and our message is, is, is mighty.